What is up everybody and welcome to this episode where we're going to be talking about the new update to the PS3 emulator RPCS3. Now I don't normally do this but I think this with this update it's been so drastic and so big and made so many improvements um, it's worth just mentioning. As you might have seen from my channel I've been uploading uh, over the last few days uh, lots of videos of the improvements of this, uh, this emulator. Uh, but as of the 1st of December, uh, which is yesterday at the time of me doing this video, um, we've seen some massive improvements and I just wanted to talk about them. Uh, the first improvement and probably one of the biggest uh, for a long time with this emulator is looking at the SPU, um, which is kind of the sound, how it delivers the sound. A lot of people experience the games loading up and being playable but with distorted sound that actually causes uh, hangs and various other kind of glitches slowdowns and stutters um, and that has not been fixed totally but it's certainly been put on the road uh, to being fixed um, and it's made many more titles bootable and even some fully playable now if you've seen my channel you'll have seen me putting some God of War videos and the God of War HD collection is now um, fully playable at 60 frames per second I've played it at uh, 4k um, I'm sure it goes a bit higher than that that's not a problem but not only is it made those playable it's made other games started to uh, be playable like Uncharted series uh, for instance Uncharted 1 is now uh, bootable um, and it allows you to go in game now it runs at a really uh, slow freight uh, FPS um, you're in single digits for most of it and there are some stutters but it's bootable and it's well on the way to becoming playable and I would expect in the next few months for those those games, those Uncharted games to be more than playable and I can't wait to play them at 4K at 60 frames per second um, so it's quite exciting times other games that have made drastic improvements are uh, games like Ratchet and Clank uh, 1 to 4 okay and also Tools of Destruction now boots into intro screens. We've got Little Big Planet are now playable. There is a, a little caveat with that that you need uh, a save game for 2 and 3. Wipeout HD is now playable, although apparently it's a bit unstable. And also in Famous uh, 1 and 2 now boot into game. Now, obviously most of these are not playable in a playable state, but this is the start of something fantastic. And there's games... Uh, that I'm really looking forward to playing, one of them being Heavenly Sword, um, as I've never actually completed it and uh, I'm really looking forward to playing that. Gran Turismo, uh, the HD concept now plays, I think it has a few graphical glitches and Gran Turismo 5 and 6 now boot into menu. But the announcement that most excites me and makes me feel warm inside is that The Last of Us now launches uh, into the health and safety screen um, which doesn't sound like a big deal, but it actually is when you think of how taxing and demanding that game was on the system. So I would expect in the next few months, as I predicted in my previous video looking at the top five uh, up and coming emulators for consoles next year, that RPCS3 is going to absolutely explode. Um, it, over the next few months. The guys there have worked tremendously hard uh, in pulling off what has been an amazing update and an amazing month for that emulator. Okay, so that's it from me. If you like any of my videos, please like and subscribe. Uh, if you really, really like them, you can donate to me. There is a donate button on the top of my banner on my main page. Or as ever, there's a PayPal link uh, in the description below. But thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.